Welcome to Channel 18 News. I'm Jim Rogers. Hopkins County Sheriff's deputies responded to a call on County Road 4778 where they found a 72-year-old female, the victim of an assault. The elderly individual said she had been screamed at and yelled at, shoved into the wall and pressed against the wall with the assailant's arm against her upper body. The victim had punched her assailant in the face to escape the wall. As officers attempt to calm the situation, the assailant continued to display anger and hostility toward the elderly lady. Catherine Marie Morlock, age 28, is in Hopkins County Jail being held on a $10,000 bond. She's charged with injury to the elderly with intent bodily injury, a felony three. Touchdown and end zone athletics purports to be associated with the Sulphur Springs High School cheerleaders as a fundraising organization. According to Rusty Harden, communications director for Sulphur Springs Independent School District, the local district has not contracted with the company and it is not authorized by the district to conduct such a drive. The company has also attempted to represent themselves as associated with the Mount Pleasant Independent School District in a fundraising effort there. The Mount Pleasant Independent School District has also refuted their claims. KSST Radio was contacted to be a sponsor, paying an amount for an advertising space on the back of a t-shirt. The salesperson told us that a portion of the proceeds would go to fund the cheerleader activities for the next school year. When questioned regarding the cheerleader sponsor's name, we were given the name of the previous year's volleyball coach who has since resigned and moved to another district and who was not the cheerleader sponsor. Businesses are advised to seek verification by checking with the local school district before agreeing to any fundraising efforts conducted by an outside agency. Deborah Bauckham dropped by this week representing Hearts of Life with the Dog of the Week. This one is one of five puppies that we have left. We, um, we rescued the mom. The mom was out on Highway 19 and she had puppies about two weeks after we took her in. And she had uh, seven puppies and we have adopted two. I think that's right. I believe that's right, seven or eight. I, I lose track. No, actually, she had nine puppies. Take that back. Nine puppies, and we have adopted four. So we have five left, and um, we. this one's name is Jeremy, and he's three months old. He's had all of his Parvo shots, so all he needs now is to be neutered and to have a rabies shot when he's old enough. So uh, if someone adopts him for $90, that will pay for his neutering and his rabies shot and of course he's had the parvo he and um, two of the other pups will be at pet sense on saturday and along with a couple of other small dogs so those will be up for adoption we were planning to have something on the outside but of course it's so extremely hot till we're going to move inside pet sense and we don't want to take up the whole store so We'll have three pups. Jeremy will be one of them. And uh, his sister and a brother. And then two other little dogs. One is Goldie. I had Goldie in here a couple of weeks ago. Goldie's still up for adoption, so she will be there. And, uh, as always, we need some folks to come out and give our pooches some good homes and as always, we need volunteer help, especially during the summertime. We have to change water very, very often, and that requires a whole lot of extra work. So if anybody's interested in doing a little volunteering, we could give them a job just changing water, which is not an extremely hard job, but it's time consuming. And so, uh, anyway, other than that, we're, we're all we're doing very well. We're about to put up of our perimeter fence and uh, put our runs in so that everybody will have a place to run and hopefully that will get started pretty soon and uh, if anybody's interested in Jeremy or any of our other dogs 439-5019 is our number and just give us a call and we'd be happy to visit with you have to leave a message because we don't have someone answering the phone all the time but uh, we would certainly be willing to talk to you about volunteering or adopting, whatever, we always need help. 
come on out to Pet Sense on Saturday and visit with Jeremy. He'd love to have some kids to run around with. <laughs> Jeremy's going to be a good sized dog. He's got some rather large feet and rather long legs, so he would make a, an excellent outside dog for somebody. His mom is a white German Shepherd mix, we think. So, uh, just to give you an idea, we don't know what daddy is, but mom, is, we have mom too. So, <laughs> and he said, I could be an outside, an inside dog too, just give me a chance. I'd have to have a big house, but I could be inside too. <laughs> Here's Don with sports. The Sulphur Springs ISD will be offering volleyball and soccer camps next week, and both will be run by new head coaches here. After 10 years as the head volleyball coach at Paris Junior College, Justin Manis, the new Lady Cats volleyball coach, will have camp Monday through Wednesday in the main high school gym next week. Actually, there are two camps. One for girls entering the fourth through the seventh grades will take place each day from 9 a.m. until noon, and one for girls entering the eighth or ninth grades will occur from from 1 p.m. until 4 p.m. each day. Cost to attend, $50. New Wildcats soccer coach Nikki Wiggins will ha be having a soccer camp for boys and girls next week. It's an evening camp and will take place Monday through Thursday from 6 p.m. until 8 p.m. It's for boys and girls entering kindergarten all the way through the 12th grade. Cost for this camp is $55. Camp information and registration is available on the school district website at www.ssisd.net. Campers can also be signed up on the first day of camp on Monday. Thanks for watching Channel 18 News. Tonight at 7 o'clock on Channel 18, see Hopkins County Dairy Festival Queens Pageant. It will be shown this evening at 7 p.m. and throughout the weekend, along with other featured videos of the Hopkins County 2016 Dairy Festival Parade, the hot air balloons, and of course, the ever popular Queens Contestant and Parent Cow Milking Contest. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening.